Hello, I'm Lauren K. Wyatt, your psychic, spiritual advisor, pet psychic, and transformational coach. We are here for the monthly reading, and we are going to dive into September 2024. Now, I've been doing the monthly reading for my Clarity Portal members. If you don't know, the Clarity Portal is a membership site that I have where I give extended weekly predictions, these monthly readings, and also daily guidance, all to help you navigate with love, trust, and confidence. And... My guides asked me to make this video public, and it makes sense because in September, we are in this time of the Zodiac of Virgo, and Virgo in its highest capacity, it is all about serving, healing, and being of service in this higher way. So... I said yes, and here I am, and it is my intention that this reading supports you in receiving all of the, the connection, the clarity that you need to navigate with trust, love, and confidence. It is my intention that this reading be healing for you and supportive of you as you navigate this month. So what we do in these, in the monthly readings is that I break it up into three different parts. In part one, we're going to talk about the solar energy for the month. Part two, we're going to talk about the lunar wisdom and then part three, we're going to talk about the star power, which is all about you and how you can create an amazing month. So before, oh, they're also telling me that they would like me to give a new moon activation because uh, today when you might be viewing this is it's going to be released on September 2nd, we have a new moon. And in a new moon, these are all, this is a time of new beginnings. It's a time to plan. Planning is very Virgo, by the way. And it's also a time to really check in with yourself about what you want and to move forward with it, understanding that you are a vessel of all of your dreams, all of your manifestation, everything in your life that unfolds through you and with spirit. So we'll be doing that new moon activation at the end of the reading. But for now, let's dive into that that solar power or the solar energy. Okay. When I say solar power, it sounds like I'm talking about um, like the solar panels that we get on our houses, which is amazing. Um, but anyway, so for this solar energy, the sun is going to predominantly be in the zodiac of Virgo, as we just talked about. And toward the end of the month, it's going to move into Libra. Both of these signs are very service oriented and both of them are, are assisting us in really serving and stepping into a greater level of that. Now, with this solar energy of Virgo, you may find that you are more detail oriented than usual. You may notice this all around you, or you may find that you're missing the details and you might be getting down on yourself about these things. One aspect of Virgo is that it can really shine a light on that inner critic. 
And sometimes when we're being really self-critical, it can make it really hard to step forward. And we really get into what I call the illusion of perfection. If, if you know, um, and you know that I created this system called the illusions of relationship and each of the illusions, there are six right now. Another one is making its way <laughs> into, into my consciousness to share with everyone at a later time. But anyway, these illusions of relationship, what they do is they show us where we self-sabotage and where we separate ourselves from love. And love is source. Love is the divine. Love is spirit. And we're here on earth um, where we live mostly, oh, some people totally in separation of, of the divine and the knowing that they are a divine being. And for some of us, especially if you're, if you're watching this video, and definitely if you're a Clarity Portal member, then you, you know that, yes, you are human, but you also have a soul. You are also divine, and that is working through you. So with the illusion of perfection, this is the illusion that tells us that we're not good enough. Um, and of course, that can push love away because... It's very self-absorbed because if we're thinking about all the flaws that we have, then we may project that onto other people. Um, we may be in this space of getting ready to get ready so that we're perfect. We also can be under the illusion that, oh, when we're perfect, if we're good little boys and girls, then everything is going to fall into place. And we, we also operate on this rewards and punishment system, which is so um, into the religious conditioning that is so present on our planet, especially in the United States. Um, so just notice these themes of this misconception, this mistaken thinking, this illusion that you have to be perfect to get what you want. And if you don't have what you want yet, then you're not, then you're not working hard enough or you're not doing a good enough job. Um, these are things that you really need to look for. And once you find them, you can release it. And since we're in this new moon today and really when we're in this new moon, the energy carries over for the next few days. It's this, this newness. And it's this art of this month where you can really look at the different complaints you have, the different criticisms you have, and also maybe offer that up to a higher power to the divine, your higher self. It's just energy. And if you can notice these things, then you can make a new choice. If you just notice, hey, I realize that I can get really bound up in this cultural conditioning and this need to be like rewarded or punished or work harder, feeling not good enough. Virgo is such a healing time to recognize these things about yourself and to, this is the funny part, to do better on your healing journey, not to get like this huge reward, but to really allow yourself to align with the love that you are and to be kind to yourself. Because when you do that, this this kindness, this compassion is extended to other people. With this solar energy, you're going to be very aware of details. Virgo has, um, it, it's a very, it's a more analytical sign and this can help you 
to really discern what's happening in your life and to ask, is this truth or is this illusion? How can I align more to love? And as I feel into this solar energy this month, I'm guided to remind you that the sun itself, this is aspects like the, the sun is light. It gives, it gives life to things through its light. Without the sun, we would not, we would not be able to survive. And at the same time, the sun can be super intense. The sun can, can really heat up. It can dry some things out. Um, the sun also can represent our our um, external circumstances. So maybe the different things that we, um, they're telling me the things that we can grade ourselves against, like, oh, do I have these things in the life template? And by the life template, I mean um, this whole thing of like, be a good little boy and girl, maybe go to college or make a lot of money or do both get a nice stable job, get married, have children, la 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 la, be a homeowner, ba 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 ba, impress everyone, have this status, um, you know, different life templates within different life templates. And even people who try to break off from that, there's still so much cultural conditioning that goes into like, oh, I don't know, uh, like how to be a successful business owner, how to how to be a coach, like all these different things. And that's fine. But this month, notice where you're locked in the illusion of perfection and step into the highest aspects of the solar power, which is to be honest with yourself about where you're at and maybe where you're being too critical, where you're comparing yourself to other people. And come back to yourself. Be honest about what you want and be able to speak it into existence. In this new moon part, it's really great for you to write down what you want to create this month and also acknowledge what you've been working toward because some things take longer than a day or a few weeks to to manifest as we know because that is the law of gestation which tells us that yes a seed can be planted but we need that solar energy we need the sun we need water we need nourishing soil to keep going so for you your ideas and the things that you are manifesting, nourish that through being kind to yourself, through celebrating yourself, for giving yourself and others grace, and also stepping into this higher standard of mastery. As I go in a little deeper to the solar energy, what spirit would really like for you to do is to keep going, keep moving forward. Some of us can get really stressed out when things don't happen exactly the way that we think that they should. And this is also very much illusion of perfection because we can stop ourselves before we've even started in so many cases because we can make a case of like all the reasons why I shouldn't put myself out there. Um, all of the reasons why this may fail. And you can like, in essence, create a report for, for yourself on all the things that could go wrong. And that for most of us is not very energizing. So <laughs> what spirit would like for you to do is to acknowledge that and to also acknowledge what's happening culturally with all this comparison, all the different conditioning that we deal with, and to move forward anyway. Knowing that it's okay to know what you know now and to trust that you'll know what you know later. 
and to keep going. You may see the next step in front of you, the next two steps. Those steps may take a while. And you can also look at the bigger picture. For me, it helps me to look at like the much broader, bigger picture of everything. And that helps me to appreciate every moment. So the question that spirit has for you as you contemplate the solar energy is if you were guaranteed that what you want, that what you've been longing and yearning for, that it or something better will happen, how would you move forward? What would you do? What would you stop doing? What would you let go of? With this question, something that you need to watch out for this week is different naysayers in your life. So if you are, whether you're creating a relationship, like let's say that you've been single for a while and you really, you long for a partnership where you're seen and treasured and loved. I mean, who doesn't want to be seen and treasured and loved? Maybe if you're in a relationship, you want to experience that recognition with your partner. Like you want them to see you. Maybe you're doing new things creatively. Maybe you're going back to school and you're older. Maybe you're contemplating a move. You're doing bigger things in your career or in your business. I want you to know that this month, you may be really aware of all the critics and all the naysayers. And what we would like you to know is that this and their reactions, they're only reflecting parts of yourself that are scared and within you. So when you notice the naysayer, also know that, yes, it reflects you and fears that you may have, but also know that there is, there's, well, there's so much heartache in the collective and so many people have closed off their hearts because they don't, they don't want to get hurt and they believe that being cynical or being pessimistic that it protects them from having what they want. And in some ways they're right, but this can be extended to maybe gossiping about other people, or can you believe what they're doing? La la la. Um, whatever, let them, let them have their life and do your own thing. Spirit would like you to proceed with or without these spectators and regardless of how supportive or not supportive they are, there's a reminder that this is just energy and that a big theme of a month um, where we're mostly in Virgo, it's going to be criticism, but it's also going to be mastery and rising above that and really loving yourself, accepting that, you know, the this is normal <laughs> when you're doing something new and moving forward. And this is just, it's such a beautiful time to really take action and to ground what it is that you want. So a plus side to this is if you keep going and you follow the advice that's coming out in this reading, then you will have what it is that you want and you will see positive signs of that. With this month also moving into the Zodiac of Libra, where we're going to have Libra later on this month, um, around the, well, on the 21st of September, that is such a relationship-oriented sign. So 
This month, it's great to get your personal shit together. And I mean that in the most loving way possible. And I don't mean you have to be better, but just notice how you're not kind to yourself or how you hold yourself back because of fears or comparison or what other people might think and to move forward anyway, to move forward on your mastery, to just keep going. So you get to do that knowing that when you do that, it serves humanity. It serves the whole. It's very healing and know that that is going to set all of your relationships up for success, for growth. It doesn't mean it's going to be perfect, illusion of perfection, but it does mean that when things you don't like happen, you'll be able to move forward in in an empowered way and in a way that allows you to feel confident and navigate with that love and trust. Okay. Now we're going to talk about the lunar wisdom for September, 2024. And wow, well, we've been talking about the moon already. And while the sun is very external, it's about what's happening out there. It's our relationship to society. Um, It's very action oriented. We have the moon that operates very differently, but she is consistent. I love following the different moon cycles and knowing what phase the moon is in. This assists me in, well, it assists me in navigating with love, trust, and confidence, which is what I help my clients do and all my Clarity Portal members do. And and I hope that this also happens with the free emails and the social media things that I do. And see, look, all this Virgo energy about being of service is coming up. But when we connect with the moon, what we're doing is we're also honoring the part of us that isn't so externally focused, it's not so validation focused, it's focused on you as this human being and divine being. And some would say it's about going inward, it's about honoring honoring that feminine energy. And these are true, to me, this is about acknowledging where you are emotionally, what's happening in your personal and spiritual growth, and also honoring your your inner rhythm. Because the moon has this rhythm and this cycle that allows us to have seasons. Maybe in Texas, it doesn't always seem that way, but in theory, we have seasons and (laughs) aren't there seasons with every part of our life that we're in? So what, what part of life are you in right now? Where have you been? Where are you going? Do you feel lost? Or do you feel focused or is it an ebb and a flow as the moon does with those waves? The moon controls those waves and she does it in a very consistent, beautiful way. And there's really nothing wrong with being lost. Whenever you feel lost, that's an opportunity for you to to spend time with your lunar energy, to spend time with yourself. And what spirit wants you to know is that you're guided this month in September. I think this is going to be good advice for any time, um, making this a timeless reading, even though we're talking about September 2024. 
is to just realize that your perception of where you are now may not be very accurate. It may be filled with trauma from the past, heartache from the past. You could very well be influenced by the collective aura and that cultural field that we talked about, all this self-comparison energy coming up. Um, at the beginning of the month, like now, you may be feeling just that that criticism. And also, even with this criticism, you're probably going to feel that you are being called into a higher level of service. One word about this. Service doesn't have to be a job. <laughs> our, <laughs> our culture loves to monetize everything. Service can simply be you connecting with your heart and making a conscious choice to be and align with your authentic self. When you do that and when you consistently make the choice to do that, this blesses everyone. This is service. This can be taking care of your family if you're if you're a mother or a father, a parent. This can be having good boundaries in place, knowing when enough is enough and when to say no. And This month in September, since it is such, it's such a, it's a month to really bring what you want into form and to refine it. And it's this month of relationships. Boundaries are great because you can choose how you want to use your time. And the time is also, what do you want to think about? And realizing that how you see something now, it may not be totally clear. And that's, again, because of the conditioning. And what spirit wants you to do is just to see beyond. Use this lunar energy, this energy of being in touch with your emotions, connecting with your intuition, understanding your inner rhythm using this energy to really see beyond and know what's possible because there, yes, a lot of power happens in the present moment, but you are so much more than just this moment. So as we go deeper, it becomes really apparent that the moon really wants you to acknowledge her and see her. So if you're interested in connecting with the moon cycles, and we're going to have a new moon activation um, toward the end of this reading, just noticing, oh, we have a, like, we're going to have this full moon, <laughs> or what, what phase is the moon in? Is it waxing? Is it waning? Um, staying connected to that can help you to be intentional with your thoughts and what they're also they want me also to talk about the full moon while we're here and oh i i'm seeing that we have the full moon is going to happen on august 17th and guess what it's going to be a partial lunar eclipse now Eclipses can be intense. It's where different energy is being magnified. Um, when we have a lunar eclipse, and this time it's partial, it means that you may you may feel things very intensely, and you also like this is a time where illusion is at an all time high because the moon can also represent illusion, especially when we're having an eclipse. And when we're in illusion, this is when we like we may we forget that we're a divine being. We forget our power. We get swept up in the cultural conditioning and we separate 
from spirit and then drama happens. This is why there's usually like some drama around the full moon. And this full moon that we're going into, it's in Pisces and Pisces happens to be my sun sign. Um, but Pisces is very compassionate, intuitive, and is just connected, like just like, oh, there's like this cosmic connection. There's this connection to to other people. This is the opposite of Virgo because Virgo is extremely grounded, but both of these signs are very healing and very service oriented. So what you need to keep in mind as we move into the month is yes, there, the inner critic is going to be high and you're going to notice you're going to feel critical of yourself and other people. But to realize that maybe you don't see the full picture, maybe you're in an illusion. And also for those of us who are in the process of manifesting a relationship, you may have a fantasy about <laughs> someone else or who you want them to be, and you may not be seeing things clearly. So Eclipses are times of learning, and it's a good idea for you to check in about that and to also check in with how you're feeling, knowing that a lot of it is an illusion and you may feel a little more disconnected from your well-being than usual. But remember to see beyond and to use that full moon period to really be illuminated by your service, whether it's a smile or it's supporting someone else, it's putting yourself out there, using that full moon period to see beyond. Seeing beyond is a really big part of this month um, because it's so easy to get mired in the criticism and the illusion of Pisces. Criticism of Virgo and the illusion of Pisces. So now we're going to talk about the star power of this month. The star power has to do with how you can create an amazing month knowing everything that I just shared with you. And we'll also do that new moon activation to really heighten this. But realize that even in these tough moments of self-criticism or wanting to perfect and refine things and heal and break free of the illusion of perfection, your genius is awakening your your inner genius because every single one of us has gifts is awakening at higher levels and junior that's my word for ego junior gets super loud when it's time to up level or it's time to break through or it's time to move into something new and with this genius that is blooming and taking shape within you What's happening is Junior can get really loud and will try to distract you with all these little criticisms. And what you get to do is be a ninja and to notice this. And sometimes it's easier to, to be that person for someone else. So if one of your friends starts, like you can just tell that their Junior is going a little cray or they're spinning out or being hard on themselves because you know this, you can, of course, if they're if they're receptive to hearing it, you can just say, you know, I think something really big is about to happen for you. Very calming. And you can tell yourself that as well, because the voice of spirit, the voice of your intuition is quiet. And it's always ego that wants to overpower it. So some people um, may be like, oh, my genius is awakening and I'm so intuitive. But what they're doing is they're just listening to their junior, <laughs> like trying to like, like their junior is really big and wanting to make everything inflated. Um, you may notice, 
and be more discerning about that this month as part of your star power, which I think is a, a powerful superpower to have. But know that your genius is awakening. And again, in September, we're called into different levels of service. We're called to collaborate and connect with other people. And what I'm seeing happen this month is things are changing. Yes, like we are having a turn of the wheel where we're going to be officially moving into autumn in September. And this is a this is a really big deal because it's a totally different energy. Things begin to fall away because, you know, autumn leaves falling away and we can really use all of the wisdom that we learned um, from how to navigate that critical part of ourselves to bring that to a higher level of service to really refine and be in our mastery if we can set boundaries and let go of the different illusion of perfection tendencies that we have, then we're going to see an amazing change and new levels of creativity, of abundance and connection. Yes, I see because if you do, if you follow the advice of this reading and it doesn't have to be perfect, this is really going to call in that new relationship that you want. This is going to call in new collaborations, new partnerships, new friendships, more. It could also be a business deal. This is the time to really believe that and know that and hold that and to know that by giving your, your genius and that intuition space to bloom, you get to be this, I just see like this beautiful, huge flower that's attracting these gorgeous pollinators and people who just love being in your beauty. Thank you so much for tuning into this reading. We're gonna do that new moon activation in just a bit. And I'm Lauren K. Wyatt. I'm your psychic, your spiritual advisor, your pet psychic and transformational coach. If you're not currently a Clarity Portal member, I would love for you to be a Clarity Portal member. It is such a wonderful way to stay connected to your to your intuition, to your inner knowing, and to activate these new codes of trust, love, and confidence within yourself so that you can navigate that way as well. And this is a way to really keep you on track because there's so much noise in the world. And these, these predictions that I do is in the, in the Clarity Portal, we do extended weekly predictions. We do the monthly reading and there's also daily wisdom as well. And I have other fun plans in mind. All of these things keep me on track and in service so that I can, so that I can navigate with trust, love, and confidence and assist you in doing that for you as well. And it's a wonderful gift for you to give yourself. So. Okay, now we'll move into the new moon activation. So take a moment and if you can, go ahead and close your eyes. Start to connect with your breath. What we're going to do is we're going to breathe in to the count of four and we're going to breathe out to the count of eight. If you can do it through your nose and if that's not an option, just do it the best you can. And remember, we're not here to be perfect. So 
Breathe in. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Take a moment, dear one, and feel into your intentions, to your goals, the things that you would like to manifest this month, as well as the longer term goals and manifestations as well. So which seeds are you planting? And which plants are you nourishing? So you feel into this I'm sending you a blessing, divine order, the codes of divine planning, self-acceptance, self-love. I want you to imagine these blessings as being the healing water, the holy water that these plants and seeds are receiving. The energizing sunlight. and the nourishing soil. See all of these plants growing together, supporting each other in divine harmony. and exalted perfection. Watch these plants grow. Watch these intentions bloom. These goals manifest. And so it is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, beauties, thank you for spending time with me today. It has been such a pleasure. I'm Lauren, and I hope to see you in the Clarity Portal.